Okay, so let's look at this now. And what I want to tell you about this model from Tony Alessandra is it's, it's lovely. You know, a lot of people think that there are maybe 64 different personality styles. Well, I don't have time to teach you all 64, but I have time to teach you the four main ones, right? So let's do that. And each of them has a plus and a minus. This is the relator in the upper left, thinker down here, director, and socializer. There is no bad personality, but you're about to find out which one you are, okay? So relators have a plus and a minus, and the plus is that they are people people. They are bridge builders. What's the root word of relate? Oh, sorry, relator is relate. So they relate to people. That's their forehand. That's their skill set. The downside to relators is they're not good with conflict. They are conflict adverse. It makes sense, right? They would, rather, they would rather get along with people than provoke people. And so they always default to getting along. And when it comes time to delivering, say, bad news, they, they hedge at that. That's not their thing. Let's talk about the socializer for a minute, the plus and the minus. The good news about socializers is they love to have fun. They make everything fun. Work is fun. Bad news is fun. Um, in the medical field, they call it hospital humor, where you can joke. If something bad happened, you can joke about it. It's not because you are irreverent or because you're disrespectful. It's just your sense of humor. It's how you cope. I imagine the, all of the dark industries uh, that see people at their worst have that kind of humor. I imagine law enforcement has it. The comments are getting away from me, guys. Over 69 comments in the chat, so we'll come back and get them later. The not-so-good news about the socializer is because they like to have fun all the time, it's hard to take them seriously. So this is your class clown. It's the person on the work team who is... Um, it's hard to get their attention. They're always cracking wise. Everybody knows somebody like this. Let's look in the lower left quadrant, and we're talking now about the thinker. The plus for the thinker, everybody, is the thinker makes really good decisions. Our bandwidth is holding up, everybody, if you want to turn your cameras on so I can see you. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Sarah. Oops, Sarah's not. Sarah's got a lifelike avatar. <laughs> Let's see you, Mona, Eleanor, Josh. So the socializer then loves life, but it's hard to take the socializer seriously. The thinker makes really good decisions. High threshold for analytical processing. Can't get enough data. Why are you laughing, Selena? Is that you? Maybe. <laughs> What's the downside to the thinker? Can't get enough information. Uh, if you're having lunch with a thinker and they bring the menus over, everybody at the table is ready to order except one person. It's the thinker. They're still counting the calories, the fat grams, doing a cost-benefit analysis of the lasagna versus the, you know, the BLT, whatever. And then finally, in the lower right corner is the director. And there are pluses and minuses to the director as well. The plus for the director is the director loves two things that American businesses covet, efficiency and productivity. Efficiency and productivity. And I know, Mara, we're, we're coming up on time already. Boy, did this go fast, huh? We'll have some time for Q&A, everybody. We'll finish up the personality styles. So they love efficiency and productivity. And uh, unfortunately, they're, they're, the, the demerit or the bad news about the director is they often achieve efficiency and productivity at the expense of their greatest resource. And who is their greatest resource? People. The team. Others. Make sense, Robin? So this is the idea here that 
if you're going to play to their personalities, the first step is to understand who you're talking to and the second step is to dress your language in a way that's appealing to them. So earlier you were trying to decide which one you are. If you think you might be a relator, would you please click the thumbs up or give me a thumbs up manually so I can see who we're dealing with today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. More cameras on, I appreciate it. If you are, um, if you think you might be a socializer, thumbs up. Meg, what do you think? Jennifer, Ashley? No, no socializers? Do we have any? Uh-oh. Oh, one, okay, Jennifer for sure. Apparently, social, apparently not a librarians are socializing. Let's see where everybody lands. Because some industries are really personality specific. How many of you might be here? This might be the this might be the holy grail here. How many librarians on the call are thinkers? Thumbs up. There they come. Thank you very much. Yeah, a lot of thumbs up on this. Suzanne, Nettie, thank you. Jennifer with one F. Yeah. All right. Sarah, thank you. So um, it's cool. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with any of these personalities. I'll give you the punchline in just a minute. And then finally, if you're a director, you like efficiency and productivity, thumbs, thumbs up. That, I used to be a director, but now I'm a socializer. Okay, so here's the punchline from Tony Alessandra. Your personality style or the other person's personality style is not a deal breaker, right? You're looking for somebody and you're trying to be the person who is adaptable because it's the relator who can socialize, the relator who can think, and the relator who can direct that makes the best librarian, the best team member, the best citizen. So when I walk into a room, although I recognize myself as a socializer, I'm quickly trying to find out who am I talking to here? How can I say this in a way, remember I said use the exact words for the right job? How can I say this in a way that's going to really connect with this apparent relator or this apparent thinker that I'm talking to? This guy wants me to get right to the point. I better say it quickly. Maybe I'll even let it be his idea because he'd like that. You see what I'm doing? It's pretty cool, isn't it? So personality style is not the predictor of success. Adaptability is. And that's what Tony Alessandra calls the platinum rule. Not the golden rule, but the platinum rule. You all know the golden rule because you grew up with it. Do unto others as you want to be done unto. But if you're a director, why would you want anybody to treat you like a relator? Or if you're a relator, why would you want them to treat you like a thinker? You want to be treated like who you are. So the platinum rule is do unto others as they want to be done unto. How cool is that? Dr. Tony Alessandra. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's open.